Now, they're the first breeding population of beavers in the English countryside in hundreds of years. And now they're being given the chance to go forth and multiply. Despite protests from farmers and anglers, countryside officials have given the go-ahead for a five-year trial to allow the beavers to build a home on the River Otter in Devon. Our science editor, Tom Clark, joins us from there. Tom. Well, Christian, depending on who you ask, this is either a historic day for English conservation or the start of a grave threat to our fragile river ecosystems. Natural England today determining that the uh, population of beavers that have been living wild here for some time will not have to be trapped and either exterminated or put in captivity, but can remain here free under certain conditions. More of that in a few minutes. But today I spent the day out on the banks of the River Otter with those who've been championing the beavers' freedom and those who are opposed to their continued release. These are the most recent pictures of England's only wild beavers, and they must be feeling chipper tonight. Natural England has ruled that they can stay in the wild for a five-year trial period under the watchful eye of the Devon Wildlife Trust. This is a really important moment for English conservation. It also means that the beavers that are living on this river system that the community has come to love get at least another five years here and we can study the impact they have. For months, their future hung in the balance. Last year, DEFRA decided they should be trapped, maybe destroyed, because they hadn't been legally released and could carry disease. Wildlife groups, the landowner and local people rallied to defend them. Meanwhile, the unwitting beavers got eager. Three new kits emerged last summer. Last year, we met with Tom Buckley, a retired scientist whose camera traps helped confirm how many beavers were here and what impacts they were having on the environment. Now it's winter, the animals are less active, but their handiwork is hard to miss. I know that it took them well over a week going at it almost full time. Right. And there was two adult beavers right. taking it in shifts. As far as Buckley and other experts are concerned, the impact beavers have on the river ecosystem only improves it, attracting other wildlife and people. Yes, we're talking beaver tourism. It definitely is a draw already. I've met people and shown them around where the beavers are from not just throughout Britain, but from throughout the world. And they've come specifically here, staying in the area, just to try and catch a glimpse of our beavers. And some have been very lucky, and they have done. Do you think we're going to be lucky? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we sat and watched and waited. If they were there, we didn't see them, but instead a group of men on a canoeing trip. Turns out they were looking for beavers too and took me for a paddle. You frequent the waterways of England in your, in your canoe. What, what's it like to know that you might share this river with beavers? Oh, I think it's fantastically exciting. We, we come to rivers for, for the fun and the landscape and the wildlife especially. And to know that something that used to be here has come back is very exciting for us. But many of England's four million anglers think beavers could cause lasting damage to already fragile rivers and fish stocks. Here in Devon, you've got six definite, maybe ten animals. They could have been here for five years. It's not like they've taken over the whole of the south of England. Absolutely not. Uh, but it's when those numbers uh, make a critical, come to a critical mass. And you think they will? I think they will, yes. Um, uh, and that's, um, this is one particular project. There are other projects um, in, in the pipeline where people want to do this. It's natural they will move around. Yeah. It's natural they will breed. But these beavers are now free, and that makes today quite historic. The animals haven't officially lived in England for centuries. So soon, there could be signs of gnawing on a riverbank near you, or if you're patient enough, a glimpse of a beaver.